Senate's confirmation hearings joins us now. Christopher Coons, a Democratic senator from Delaware and a member of the foreign of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Uh, senator, thank you so much for joining me, first off. Thank you, Katie. Secondly, uh, you've said Tillerson's ties to Russia do bother you. Uh, what do you need to find out about him in order uh, to feel okay saying yes to this pick? Well, Rex Tillerson has four decades of experience uh, helping lead and ultimately run uh, the world's largest oil company, ExxonMobil. And I understand that that gives him lots of experience uh, negotiating with leaders around the world. But Russia is not our business partner. Vladimir Putin is our adversary. Uh, and anyone who says he's not a thug, uh, who has uh, murdered journalists and uh, made political opponents disappear and has invaded neighboring countries, uh, is either misinformed or misled. And I'm going to be asking asking Rex Tillerson tough questions about his long and close relationship with Vladimir Putin. He received a Medal of Friendship from Putin for his central role in inking multi-billion dollar deals uh, for drilling in the Russian Arctic. And while that might be good business for ExxonMobil shareholders, uh, I'm going to have hard questions for him about how he transitions from leading an oil and gas company uh, to leading an agency that is centrally responsible for fighting for human rights and for uh, free press and for democracy around the world. Well, given what you're saying, I think we can expect to hear a no vote from you, Senator. If that is the case and you don't feel comfortable with him, how are you going to be able to convince your Republican counterparts uh, to say no as well? John McCain has expressed, expressed discomfort with this, uh, Marco Rubio as well, Lindsey Graham. Do you think that you can get them onto the Democrat side in order to block a confirmation like this? Well, Katie, I don't think we should look at this as on the Democrat side or on the Republican side. I think we should be looking at the enduring interests of the United States. Presidents, both Republican and Democrat, uh, have seen the importance of our foreign policy being based on human rights and democracy. Uh, as conservative Republican as Ronald Reagan made fighting for human rights around the world and standing up to Russia's leader a central part of his legacy. Um, so I frankly think we ought to be asking questions of the Trump administration. Um, uh, I'm every bit as concerned about rumors that John Bolton will be nominated to be Deputy Secretary of State. Uh, Bolton is a, a hardline ideologue neocon who still thinks the Iraq War was a good idea today, despite all evidence to the contrary. Um, so, Katie, I think a number of us, Republican and Democrat, uh, will have some pressing questions for Rex Tillerson. Um, I have not met the man. I will give him a fair chance. I look forward to hearing from him. But it's really my hope, my expectation, that we will have thorough and full hearings so that the American people can make up their mind about whether or not he's a good choice to be Secretary of State and then we can vote appropriately in the Foreign Relations Committee. And in light of allowing Amer the American people to make up their mind, in your statement about Tillerson, you mentioned the allegations of Russian hacking. Uh, folks on the left want to declassify the evidence that supports that. Where do you stand on that matter? Um, I think that uh, all of the relevant committees, uh, armed services, foreign relations, judiciary, and intelligence, should be having hearings on this so that the American people can learn what is appropriate uh, for us to make public. Back in August, uh, I called in writing for Senator Cruz on the Judiciary Committee to use the Oversight Subcommittee on which we both serve to have hearings into whether or not uh, there was inappropriate Russian hacking into our election and whether our laws are strong enough to protect our electoral system from foreign interference. But Senator, now, beyond, the hearings, beyond the hearings, do you want to declassify that information so the American public can see what the CIA is talking about when they say that they have evidence or they believe they have a high confidence that Russia not only hacked into our systems but was trying to tip the scales towards Donald Trump? Katie, I think we should make as much of this public as is reasonably possible while still respecting the importance of national security. Um, one of the things I think most of your viewers may not know um, that has really informed me is a trip that I led to Eastern Europe in August where we heard from a State Department and military and intelligence professionals from our government that there are more than a dozen countries across Central and Western Europe where the Russians have been interfering with their elections, either covertly or overtly. This 
is not just unique to this election or to these two candidates. Russian activity to influence and undermine democracy uh, is something that's been widespread in recent years and is part of the tools in Vladimir Putin's toolkit to try and expand his influence. I do think we should declassify um, the information that we can share without compromising sources or methods of the intelligence community so the American people can make up their mind as well. Senator, I, I imagine you know more about this than I do. Can you tell me if this is a possibility, if we are going to see declassified information? And if so, what is the timeline for that? I can't give you any timeline. I think there's some important and tough decisions to be made. But I am encouraged that Republican Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has joined a bipartisan call for hearings on this topic. Uh, we hadn't heard that until recent days. And so to have Senators McCain and Graham and Rubio joining Senator McConnell, as well as Schumer and uh, myself and Cardin and others, in calling for bipartisan hearings, I think is a big positive step. And I am optimistic we will see the declassification of some of the critical background information here. Delaware Senator Chris Coons on Capitol Hill, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Katie. Let's see what you're saying about today's Microsoft.